We're in the green pastures of Vancouver's British Columbia University today. With me on camera, as always, is Rick von Schmidt. Soon I will do a vlog about August 31st, 1957. That's the day Elvis Presley came to Vancouver and caused a riot. But before we get to that, I want to give you a little history about the bandmates that came with him that day. Elvis used to joke that when he first started out in the business, he had a guitar a shaky leg, another guitar, and another shaky leg. Actually, he had Scotty Moore on guitar and Bill Black on bass. That's Scotty on the left and Bill on the right. Soon they were joined by DJ Fontana on drums. That's DJ on the right. And together they called themselves the Blue Moon Boys. The Blue Moon Boys toured together throughout the U.S. and into Canada up until Elvis was drafted. They recorded dozens of phenomenal songs. Their first two biggies were That's Alright Mama and Blue Moon of Kentucky. Some say they invented rock and roll. All four are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. DJ was the last surviving member of the group and sadly, he passed away a few years ago. Today Rick and I are leaving Vancouver and we're going to try something that to my knowledge has never been done before. We're going to try and visit all four of the Blue Moon Boys graves within 24 hours. To tie it all together we're going to leave musical motif erasers to try and rub out the dates of death and maybe, just maybe, get the boys back together one more time. Rick, have you got footage of those erasers? Here they are. These little treble clefts are going on a big trip today. We've got several hours of flight time and then we hit the road. And the words of the Blue Moon Boys, ready, set, go man go. Action. With all our love, Elvis.
get that group. We're wrapping things up today at historic RCA Studio B in Nashville where the boys recorded some great tunes. We're going to try and get in through the back door that the musicians used. It was a privilege visiting all four Blue Moon boys and we were able to do it in one day. If you've ever accomplished the same feat, please comment below. Thanks to Billy the Spa Guy, we also saw their homes, places of work, and rehearsal space before they hit it big. The absolute highlight for me was Memphis Recording Service, where it all began for them. I highly recommend going there. As always, I want to thank Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. On behalf of Rick and myself, thanks for watching. And until next time, that's a good bee.